How to Train Dragon The Hidden World is the third and final of the How to Dragon movies. Now, if you're asking why haven't we did the first two movies yet, I was going to, but I just forgot now. I saw this movie yesterday, and now I'm going to tell you your thoughts. This movie takes place a year after How to Dragon 2 left off. And basically, um, everyone's hiccups out, it become Chief and all that stuff. Everybody loved him now. And if you remember, his dad died in the second movie, if you guys remember that. However, there's an evil villain called Grimoire the Greasy, and he wants to hunt down dragons, and then Toothless meet a Light Fury, and then basically take down Grimoire the Grizzly, and that's basically the plot is. Now guys, I can't believe this is the last one. Now, Leo Bryan, aka the Dragon Critic, review this movie. It's my turn. It's my turn to review this movie. I saw this movie yesterday, and I have to say it's... This is actually my favourite one out of the trilogy. I'm not to say this. I did say the second one's my favourite one. But this is definitely my favourite out of the How to Dragon movies. This is a great finale. This is how you, you close off a great trilogy. Because the first movie I saw in theaters back in 2010 when I was 11 years old. I saw the second one in theaters. I saw this one in theaters. I've seen all three How to Dragon movies in theaters. That's right. I've seen all three How to Dragon how to Dragon movies in Vias. So as so as the um, I also saw Madagascar 1 and 2 and 3 in Vias, except for Penguins of Madagascar, which I'll mention that in my review soon. But honestly, this film was outstanding. It was a great finish. First off, the animation is spectacular. This is definitely the best looking out of the How to Dragon movies. The characters, honestly, they're great. And I really like the moments with um Astrid and, and Hiccup, which I think they're great. The Light Fury is great. I love the Light Fury. She's cute. I love the moments with, with Two First and the Light Fury. And now, let's talk about the awesome villain, Grimmel the Grizzly. Oh my god! Grimmel the Grizzly, honestly to say this, he was an outstanding villain. That's why right. He was terrific. He was outstanding. All I have to say is, he's actually my favorite How to Dragon villain. Out of all the three How to Dragon movie villains, Grim of the Grease is my favorite. He was great. All I have to say is, he is the Lord Shen of the of the of the How to Dragon movies. There I said it. He is the Lord Shen of the com of the How to Train Your Dragon movies. He is a terrifying, amazing. Terrific at the same way. And he has some really good laughs as well. He has some good jokes. Honestly, his voice is great. I love the actor. Now, if you guys remember in my last year, I did say who the fuck are you to Grimmel the Grizzly in my How to Dragon 3 trailers. Like I did with Incredibles 2 Stevie Reaction trailer and the um the actual the official trailer, I'd say who the fuck are you to Winston Endeavor. I, I end up really liking that character. Yeah, he was a great character. But him are uh, I did say who the fuck you to, to Grimmel Grizzly in the How to Dragon 3 trailer. And I'll say is, he is a terrific villain. I absolutely love him. He is a great villain. I just love seeing Grimmel the Grizzly on screen. He was amazing. He is way better than Francis. Francis or shitty, shitty from the, from the horrible boss, baby. That's how I can say one. Because honestly, he was amazing. I love him. The climax is pretty awesome. And I would not give away any of spoilers in this movie because... I know there's a lot of people out there in the US hasn't got the movie yet until very 22nd, but I have to say this, the end, the way how the close of this franchise, they ended perfectly. They ended perfectly on a great high note. They ended on a great high note. I won't give it what it is. They ended perfectly. Just perfect. They ended perfectly. Brilliantly. So, on that, no flaws. And this has to be the longest How to Dragon Dragon movie. An hour and 40 minutes long. So, yeah. This is the first movie I saw in, in cinema in theaters of this year. And I, I, I have, I'm I, to say this. I am with Dragon Critic, aka Leo Bryan. I agree with, with him. He gives it a 10 out of 10. I'm in his side. I give it a 10 out of 10 as well. It's amazing, brilliant masterpiece, and a perfect ending to this outstanding trilogy. There I said, it's honestly to say it's, it's actually up there with the original Star Wars trilogy as the best trilogies of all time. 
If you guys know, my favourite trilogy of all time is the original Star Wars movies. That was just amazing. All I to say is, this is a great finish to end the trilogy. And they ended really good. That's my review on How to Dragon the Hidden World. I might be seeing Lego Movie 2. If not, I'll probably watch it online. I will be seeing Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, um, Sega Beds 2, maybe Shazam. If they, if it, hope, maybe Shazam. I might go see Shazam. Um, what else? Um, Toy Story 4. Uh, maybe uh, Lion King remake. And also Spider-Man Far From Home, Frozen 2. And of course, my most anticipated movie of, of 2019. If you guessed Star Wars Episode 9, you guys are correct. Is of course, none of them, Star Wars Episode 9 is my most anticipated movie of that year. If you guys are wondering, that has nothing to do with this with you. It's just telling you what the films I'm going to see in cinemas this year. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.